Hello everyone, Luke Livingston here from Love Me Love You with Conversations on the Couch. I'm here joined by Josh Kennedy, good friend and West Coast Eagles champion. Josh, thanks for taking some time to uh, catch up, mate. No worries. How's things? You're over for it's AFL Grand Final week at the moment, so you're over for the week? Yeah, I'm over for the Brownlow, and then yeah, we thought we'd stay for the week and uh, get amongst it, so it's been uh, pretty cool so far. That's the go. Now for you, mate, obviously, uh, I guess coming from a, a small remote country area of Geraldton, and they're moving all the way across Australia. How did that go for you, mate? Yeah, look, it was uh, pretty nerve-wracking. I, I grew up in a small country town, Northampton, uh, and then moving to Perth um, for a year to work and play footy was a, a pretty big step. And lucky enough, I had uh, got some family over here, so my grandma and my dad's side's from here, so I had a little bit of a support network um, early on, which was which is good, which helped me a lot. Um, but then, you know, being around the boys and uh, meeting some really good friends and obviously moving in with you was, um, was something that really helped me get through that start of that first year. Yeah, that, uh, we had some entertaining nights, that's for sure. Uh, we definitely kept each other company. Um, I think for us at Love Me, Love You, you know, we're, we're really uh, about talking about support networks. Um, as you've obviously grown and progressed as a, as a leader, I guess, at the West Coast Eagles, how important is the mental health space um, emphasised at the Eagles? Yeah, look, yeah, look, it's growing every year and, um, you know, it's good that uh, everyone's starting to talk about it a lot more because in the football world, I think uh, the big thing with playing and training is they build this mental toughness, which is which is a hard barrier to break, I suppose, in that football world, but that's starting to get broken down now where uh, a lot of guys are now starting to talk to each other about how they're feeling and what they're going through. Um, and at West Coast, we do a lot with that. Um, we have a lot of, um, I suppose, outside networks that facilitate that and, and support it, but then also as a group, I think we're starting to get um, pretty mature in the way that we deal with each other. And um, it just, yeah, I think it, it goes a long way just being able to talk to you, mate, how you feeling. Yeah, no, absolutely, mate. And, and that's obviously our mantra as well. Um, it was quite publicised that you were involved in, in the, probably one of the biggest trades um, uh, in history of AFL, really, with Chris Judd coming back to Victoria. For you to actually turn things upside down and have to then get into your head and move back, that must have been a pretty challenging time for you. Yeah, it was, and it was all done in the space of about four days, so it was, um, it was obviously my decision to make because I was obviously contracted, but um, but yeah, in the end, um, oh, look, I don't regret my decision because I got to come back um, to be close to my mates, be close to my family, and yeah, like I said, West Coast have been a, a terrific support network and a great club to be involved with. And um, obviously, you live and breathe footy as a footballer, and, and you've got 50 blokes that you see more than your family and friends, but I know for you, it is a really important thing. You're very close with your mates from back home. Obviously, that's a priority to you, and you've never forgot, uh, forgot your roots, I suppose. No, well, uh, well, they don't let you forget it either, so that's, 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 the, that's the biggest thing. And um, yeah, without them, I don't think I would have been able to do what I do um, and have done what I've done. Um, and they've been great great support you know, through my whole career, and, um, and I'm, even when I finish, I can guarantee you that they'll still be there, which is great. With Love Me, Love You, we've got a campaign coming up called uh, Love Me, Love You, Mate. Um, and it's going to be really important for us as an organisation to really, I guess, embrace this campaign during Mental Health Week. And uh, like I said, from, on behalf of myself uh, from Love Me, Love You, thanks for taking the time to do this. Um, you know, it, it does get through and carry a lot of weight to a lot of people um, to see this persona. Um, you know, bear it all back a little bit and realise that they are humans and um, they have their days which are tough. They have their days which are good as well too. So, mate, thanks very much for catching no up, big fella. No uh, let's enjoy the rest of the week and um, yeah, good luck for uh, Bubs and next season. No worries, thanks man. Good on you, buddy. Good stuff.